Hey everyone, Chou here. In today's video, I have for you a monitor deal that is too good to be true, but it's true because I bought that monitor and I paid 210 Singapore dollars for this, which is around 150 US dollars. So this is a 16 inch portable display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. So the aspect ratio is 16 by 10. The surface is matte textured, it's not glossy, this is not a touch screen, the brightness is up to 400 nits, measured, the color support is up to 99% sRGB, measured, 77% Adobe RGB, refresh rate is 120Hz, it has support for USB-C, HDMI, comes with a flip cover case and this unfortunately flimsy display stand and all that is US $150, including shipping. So I am very satisfied with this purchase. This is probably the best portable display deal you can find out there right now. Displays with aspect ratio of 16 by 10 are not common, so this is one of those rare ones. Did I mention there are speakers as well? The audio quality is serviceable, just lacking bass, and there is a VESA mount behind. So that's the gist of this monitor, probably all you need to know to make the purchase. The affiliate links are in the video description below. Let's move on to the full review. In case you're wondering what's the brand of this monitor, well, there is no brand, it's just a generic display with very good specifications that I purchased on AliExpress. These other items included in the box, a USB-C power adapter, a multi-plug, a stand for the display, a mini HDMI to full-size HDMI cable, two USB-C to USB-C cables, this user manual, the case for the display, and the display. Design of this display is clean and simple. The bezels are almost uniform throughout except at the bottom where it's slightly thicker. That's the matte textured surface. The thickness is uniform throughout and this is not very heavy, so this is quite compact and very portable. The build quality is quite good. I'm not sure what's the material that's used for the exterior, but there is very minimal to almost no flex when I try to bend it. So the build quality is very good. On the left side, there is a speaker, two USB-C video ports which are interchangeable, a mini HDMI port, and on the right side, we have controls for the OSD. This is the power button, and this is the up-down toggle for the OSD menu, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and there is a speaker here as well. The surface on the back is matte textured, and there is a VESA mount. Dimensions are 7.5 by 7.5 centimeters, and here at the sides, you can see the labels for the ports and the buttons. This is the flip cover case, which doesn't look and feel very premium, but it's usable. The material is some sort of PU leather, so there are magnets you can use to snap to the back of the display. So with this flip cover case, you only get two angles of deployment. This is the more upright angle, and this is maybe 45 degrees. This is the other display stand. This is made with plastic, so it's plasticky. The build quality is all right. This has two movable parts, so when you're moving the display around, just be careful. There are a few slots here for different angles of deployment and a little cushion here for the bottom of the display. This display stand is small, compact and lightweight, so it's very easy to bring around. So these are the different angles of deployment. And when you need to move your display, uh, you can see everything moves. So you have to move your display very carefully. But otherwise it works fine. This USB-C cable is quite thick and the build quality is quite solid. This is 1.2 meters long. So even if your video port on your laptop is on the wrong side, this cable is still long enough for you to connect to the external display. So I've just connected this display to the Windows laptop using the USB-C cable. And this is just an external display, so it can be used with anything that can output a video signal. 
So the brightness, as mentioned earlier, is maximum 400 nits. So this is quite bright and is suitable for use even in a bright room environment. Just note that if you are powering the display with your laptop, this is going to drain the laptop battery quite fast or faster. If you are using HDMI for connection, you will have to use two cables, the HDMI for video and the USB-C connected to a power source. The USB-C port on this Windows laptop can power this display at 100% brightness, but if you are using a laptop that cannot provide enough power through this USB-C port, you may have to connect additional power to the display. The image quality of this display is fantastic. I measured color support for 99% sRGB, 77% Adobe RGB, 77% P3. This display has good sharpness with 2560 by 1600 resolution. And on a 16 inch display, if you use this at the native resolution, the UI elements are going to be kind of small. So I have actually scaled up the UI elements to make the icons and the text larger and more usable. The sharpness of this display is very good. From one arm's distance away, I am not able to notice the pixelation. If you compare this with 4K, 4K resolution will look sharper, but 4K displays are also more expensive. Anyway, 2.5K resolution is a huge improvement over 1080p, so I definitely don't have any issues with the colors and also with the sharpness of this display. This is an IPS LCD, so the viewing angles are pretty good as well. There is slight drop in brightness when you're viewing this from extreme angles, but the colors, they actually don't shift much. This is how the anti-glare looks with reflections on the surface. So to go into the OSD menu, just press the toggle here, and you can use the up-down toggle to move through the menu very easily. So here you can change the brightness, black level, contrast, echo, dynamic contrast ratio. Press the power button to go back up the menu. This is the aspect ratio, color temperature. For color temperature, you can not choose the exact Kelvin settings. So you can only choose from user, warm or cool. And you have the RGB uh, settings as well. Let's go back down here this is the osd setting there is hdr mode but the maximum brightness is just 400 nits so hdr um, is limited to 400 nits so what is this this is the signal source which is automatically selected for you depending on the cable you select and there is the volume adjustment here as well free sync when the OSD menu is not on the display, you can use the toggle here to adjust the volume of the speakers. 16 inch for portable display is considered big. One size bigger than this is 17.3 inches and most of those displays are usually using 16 by 9 aspect ratio display. So for the 17 inch display, it's just going to be wider, but the height is roughly similar. Anyway, I prefer 16 by 10 because you get more vertical pixels. And with this resolution, you can have palettes on the left and also on the right side and still get a good amount of space to work with with graphic design apps. When surfing web pages, you will be able to see a lot of content because there are a lot more pixels compared to 1080p resolution. Again, depending on the scaling that you use. With Mac OS, there are some issues with scaling. So currently I'm running this without any scaling. So the UI elements are kind of small. The text looks small. So the text may be small, the, the text may be small, but the visuals are sharp. So now I'm going to scale this to 1920 by 1200 using the settings provided. So now the text is bigger, but there is this slight fuzziness to the text. So the text is not as sharp compared to what you saw earlier. With Mac OS, I wasn't able to choose the refresh rate. So it's locked at 60 Hertz or 40 to 60 Hertz. On Mac OS, there are helper apps such as Switch Rest X and Easy Rest, which can give you more options for resolutions and frame rates. But unfortunately for me, the settings that I want 
do not work. For Mac OS users, I probably would recommend you go with a portable display with 4K resolution instead because you will be able to use 4K resolution with 1080p scaling so you get to see the large UI elements with the sharpness of 4K. The refresh rate of this display by default is 60Hz. If you want to run at 120Hz, you have to go into the OS settings to change that. And right now this is at 120Hz, running at 120Hz. So the animation for games is really smooth. For Windows users, this is a fantastic display I can recommend very easily. So if you guys are interested to get this display, consider using the affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below to help out my YouTube channel. Alright, I hope this review is useful. See you guys again. Bye!